Hello, and welcome to Jacob Hofer and Edward Zingoni's Project 4, Machine Learning. And all right, first of all, you can see here that we have the, uh, the breast cancer data that has been trained with the genetic algorithm here, the genetic trainer. And yeah, each of these folds here has a different has a different performance. In this case, fold zero is 95% accurate, fold six, 92% accurate. And down here at the very bottom, you can see that the average results for the genetic algorithm was about 95%. Now, moving on to the breast cancer data with differential evolution, you can see fold one, 97% accuracy, fold five, 95% accuracy, and down there, the average result of differential evolution with breast cancer is about 97% accuracy. We have PSO on the same breast cancer data, 94% accuracy for fold 2, 92% accuracy for fold 7, with an overall accuracy of 96.8%. Moving on to the regression data, yeah, we're using this on the uh, forest fires data. Fold zero, you, we have a normalized mean squared error of 0 0.019. But overall, for the genetic algorithm, we have an average normalized mean squared error of 0.012. And for differential evolution in the forest fire data, you can see for fold zero, normalized mean squared error is 0 0.003. All the folds down here. And then we have the average. The average normalized mean squared error for this regression data set is 0 0.005. And finally, for PSO on forest fires, you can see the output of fold 1.008 for the normalized mean squared error for all the folds going down here. And we end up with an average mean squared error normalized value of 0 0.009333. DA, you can see that we do selection through a tournament selection where percent parents is a hyperparameter that can be tuned. We find the best candidates from the tournament, which is the one with the lowest fitness score, and we will return the best candidate right here. Crossover in the genetic algorithm is implemented in this function where you take in the these two parents, parent A and parent B, and the thing that you will return are the two children that are produced from crossing over those, those two parents there. Algorithm, we have the mutate function here, where children is just the gene that's going to be mutated, and mutation rate is a hyperparameter that you can tune. There is the mutation max hyperparameter, which is, which is also tunable for that mutation. Moving on to differential evolution, selection is a little bit different because we generate a trial vector and keep, the, keep either the trial vector or the original, depending on which one is better, but this is where the selection is done. The uh, mutation is done here, and you can see this is where we create our trial vector with these three random numbers, and uh, here is the new we will go, and this um, mutation scale is also a also one of the tunable hyperparameters. And when we're done, we will return this return this trial vector and get ready for the crossover function in which we will take in the original vector and the trial vector, have this crossover tunable crossover probability as well, and we will return the the vector that has been well, it's been crossed over. And now we come to particle swarm optimization. Here you can see personal best is updated here and global best is updated over in here. And this current fitness variable is, of course, comes from this find fitness function. Updating the velocities is right here by this function, where it's called create velocity. And this is create velocity where you're given the index of the particle that you want to update the velocity of. and this is where all that is done. And then also to update the position, you call this add velocity function. We're down here. We take in a velocity as well as the particle to update. And the position is updated based on that, based on that velocity there.